Action Advanced Assertion from uh, Mobility Engineering. Uh, Ali Akbarian here, your resident road safety expert. Once again, thank you very much for sending in your questions. We love your questions. Keep them all coming in. Any questions you have around uh, road safety, transport, transporting disabled passengers, transporting children, um, laws and regulations, anything around that, liabilities, fire it away. We'll find the answer for you and we'll answer it. So, uh, today's question has come in from Becky. Uh, Becky is from uh, is an occupational therapist from the New South Wales Central Coast. I used to live there, a beautiful part of the world. I wish I kind of still did live there, but that's another story for another day. So she says, hi, I'm working with an NDIS funded client. We are all NDIS approved, so that's great. Who's looking to work, purchase a powered wheelchair. The most suitable option at the moment is a Jazzy Select Elite, which is sort of like a little scooter. And he does not actually need to travel in the wheelchair and he can transfer into the passenger seat. So he's currently got a Honda Civic and they're investigating whether options, uh, in for options for transporting their wheelchair in their current vehicle or if they need to change the vehicle. And they've also got another vehicle which is a, um, which is a little sedan as well. So actually it's, that's their vehicle, it's a Honda Jazz sedan. So I'll show you a little picture there. So their vehicle is a sedan. And the lifter, the, the wheelchair that they've got, which is actually a power scooter slash wheelchair, is that device there. Now that device there, just so you are aware, can separate. So the base, I'm pretty sure it can anyway, but we'll clarify. The base and the seat can separate, and I believe from looking at the photos, but it not, may not be the case, that the seat can fold, but we'll, we'll clarify that. So, is, the pro can, is there a product, can it go in, can it not go in, and so on and so forth. So the first thing is, can we get a product into there, into that sedan type space? Now, as you know, a sedan is quite a small space, so it can be quite difficult to get something into there. And typically speaking, people, as you can see with this vehicle, people would use a, a wagon type vehicle to uh, put their, um, their scooters and their wheelchairs in. However, it doesn't matter because we, as you may know, we're the Australian distributors for Bruno uh, Independent Living Aids which are one of the largest uh, manufacturers of wheelchair and scooter aids and lifters into vehicles in the world. And they're based out in Wisconsin in the US. Now what they make is a lifter that folds down, similar to this thing here, and folds into your boot. So what you would do is you'd bring your lifter up like so, you'd push your remote out, you'd bring it out, you'd lift your device up, and you put it back in and you put it into the boot. Now, will this fit into the boot? The only time something like this will fit into a sedan would be if you can separate the base from the seat. So if I can separate the base from the seat, I can lift that up and I can put it in. And then I can also then lift the seat up and I can put that in as well. But as you can see, the seat is upright, so the seat also needs to be able to fold flat. So they, however, if they can't fold flat, by the way, Bruno also sells a kit it's called a back kit, and the back kit actually turns this into a folding seat as well. So even if it doesn't fold, doesn't really matter too much, we can adjust it to fold. That's the seat back. However, what is important is the seat back, the seat and the base must be able to be separated, and you have to be able to pick them up and put them in separately into the vehicle if it is a sedan type vehicle. If it is not a sedan vehicle, you can probably keep it together and put it into your wagon, right? And Bruno, as I said, they have that product that goes into it. Now, as you may or may not know, one of my passions is making sure that you can transport around independently in the vehicle of your choice and what you're comfortable driving. So often people might say, oh, well, that's it. that vehicle's not suitable for you, so you need to go buy something bigger. But you might find that a bigger vehicle is not easier for you, easy for you to drive, easy for you to manoeuvre, um, you know, heavier on fuel. There's all these kind of issues with having a larger vehicle, especially if you're not used to having a larger vehicle. So the way around that is having something that's external to your vehicle. And if you want to move a little bit further back, and I'll, I'll fold this out and we'll close that, is to have something like this product here. And this is something that we would also recommend for a sedan vehicle, and this is Again, one of my favorite products because it achieves independence for a lot of people which normally wouldn't be able to be independent. So this product is called the Bruno Chariot and I'll show you quickly how this works. And this would be perfect for a little sedan if you couldn't get your little uh, products in there. So let me be clear that we have lifters that fold in and out of sedans. So Bruno has a lifter that will work for the sedan. However, it's whether or not your wheelchair when it's folded actually will fit in there. So you might need to get some help. Now on that note, when I say you might need to get some help, our organisation, as well as all of our dealers, which we have around 70 around the country, that's what they're there for. So all you need to do is you need to turn up with your vehicle and your wheelchair to one of our uh, 70 installers, which you can look on our website, we've gone all around the country. So if you're in um, the Central Coast, go and check out Safe Travel Solutions. 
they can come and help you determine whether or not this will actually fit in your vehicle and if your vehicle is suitable for your scooter and then whether or not a lifter will go in there as well. In terms of the range of lifters, there's definitely something that will go in there. Whether or not it can fit your scooter, that's the main issue. However, if it can't, this thing, it will. The Bruno Chariot is a universal product. It can fit pretty much anything, as long as it's um, you know, not too wide and not too long. However, this thing is adjustable, and we've done some measurements, and it basically fits something like 99% of the wheelchairs and um, scooters available in Australia anyway. So how does this thing work? I'm gonna give you a quick couple of minute demonstration. This thing is mounted into the back of your vehicle. It's like a little trailer, and you can use it to carry a scooter. So what you do is you push your little button there. I might turn it on, push the button and it drops down to the ground. So if I can't separate my scooter, or if I can't uh, fit it into the boot, this is the perfect alternative. Drop my scooter, my platform down, and I will drive my scooter straight on. Nice and easy. Into the wheel chop sections, like so. And then I can lift it back up again. Now when I lift it up, you'll notice that there might be some, there are some strap securement points. So what I will do is, uh, I won't do it on this video, but I'll quickly show you what we would normally do. We would secure the straps and secure the scooter down. So that's all locked away now. And we've got our securement straps, which in this case, we might go over there and we might hook it on through to the, uh, the platform and the same thing with these ones and there's another strap over there. And then once it's all strapped in, away you go. This thing is a registrable trailer. It's got all your lights, all your number plates. The wheels pivot rather than the trailer pivoting. So you can drive it anywhere you want and reverse park it, reverse it into your driveway, reverse it into your uh, garage. It's not going to jackknife. It's not going to do any of that stuff. It's just going to follow you wherever you go and take your scooter wherever you go, giving you independence wherever you go. So we recommend that if it doesn't fit in the sedan, use one of these devices. It'll definitely work with one of these devices. So thanks very much for listening. Thank you for tuning in to another question and answer session. As I said before, we love answering your questions. If you've got any more questions, far away, send them through and um, we'll get them answered. Thanks again.